These are solutions to the GCSE revision worksheet. <coughs> Excuse me, on fractions, decimals and percentages. Question number one. Write the fraction one quarter as a decimal. One quarter is equal to 0 0.25. Part B. Write 0 0.75 as a fraction. Uh, the 7 is in the tenths column. The 5 is in the one hundredths column. We've got 75 one hundredths, which is written like that. Uh, that fraction will simplify both top and bottom will divide by 25 there are three 25s in there and there are four 25s in there therefore 0 0.75 is the same as three quarters and you could spot the link between part a and part b to help you with this one uh, there are three 0.25s in 0 0.75 therefore if 0 0.25 is one quarter and this one is three times as big that must be three quarters um, or you could just simply commit those to memory. However you do it, those are the answers. Question number two. Last year, Jorah spent 30% 30, 30 of his salary on rent, two-fifths of his salary on entertainment, and one-quarter of his salary on living expenses. He saved the, the rest of his salary. Jorah spent £3,600 on living expenses. Work out how much money he saved quite a, a complicated question to get your head around uh, important that you set your workings out nice and clearly so a salary can go on rent entertainment living expenses or it can be saved 30% uh, goes on rent in this particular question um, the fact that you've got a mixture of fractions decimals uh, sorry, that you've got fractions and percentages doesn't help. It's easier to convert them in this particular question. So I'm going to turn the two-fifths into 40% and the one-quarter is 25%. Now that helps because if you add up the 30% and the 40%, 70% plus 25%, that's 95%. That means that 5% of his salary must have been saved. Now you're also told in the question that £3,600 was spent on living expenses. So we can now work out what his total salary was. If a quarter of his salary was spent on living expenses, then his salary must have been four times however much he spent on living expenses. Uh, 3600 times four, double it, double it again to get 14000 400 and we know that 5% of his salary was saved so if we can work out 5% of this we have the answer to the question. But the way to work out 5% is to find 10% first by dividing by 10 and then 5% is half of 10%. Half of 1440 is 720. Half the thousand to get 500. Half the 400 to get 200 half the 40 to get 20 and add them all together. How much money did he save? He saved £720. Question number three. There are 200 people in a cinema. 25% of the people are men. One-fifth of the people are women. The rest of them are children. Work out how many children are in the cinema. 25% um, is the same as one quarter. A quarter of the people are men, a quarter of 200 is 50, half it and half it again. To find a fifth of 200, you divide it by 5, how many 5s are in 200? There are 40, so there are 90 men and women out of the 200 people. The other lot must be the children, so take away the 90 men and women away from the 200 people there are 110 children. Question number four. We have to add together two-fifths and three-eighths. We can't add fractions unless the bottom numbers are the same, so we have to change these fractions. We can write both of these fractions as fractions over 40, because five and eight both go into 40. What do we times five by to turn it into 40? we times it by 8, so if we times the top by 8 that means this fraction and this fraction are equivalent. What do we times 8 by to turn it into 40? 
we times it by 5. If we times the top by 5, then this fraction and this fraction are equivalent. 16 fortieths plus 15 fortieths is 31 over 40. You're asked to give your answer in its simplest form. This fraction won't simplify anymore because there is no number that both 31 and 40 will divide by other than 1. Question number 5. Liam gets 6,000... Liam invests £6,200 for three years in a savings account, getting 2.5% compound interest per year. How much money will he have? This is a calculator question. It would be on the calculator paper. Um, we need to get a percentage multiplier from his interest rate. The percentage multiplier is 1.025. We multiply his initial investment by his percentage multiplier raised to the power 3 because he's investing for 3 years. And the answer is an amount of money so we need to round it to 2 decimal places. So at the end of 3 years he's got £6,676.72. Question number 6. A TV costs £400. Peter pays a deposit of 15%. How much does Peter still have to pay for the television? We need to work out 15% of £400. 10% will be £40. 5% is half of that, so it's 20 And 10% and 5% make 15%. So 15% is £60. That's how much money he pays for his deposit. How much does he still have left to pay? £400, take away the deposit, is £340. Question number seven. Danny buys a car for £10,000. Depreciation is the amount of money that the car loses as he gets older. So by the end of the first year, it loses 20% of its value. At the end of the second year, it loses 10% of its value. 20% uh, of the £10,000, well, 10% would be £1,000, so 20% would be £2,000. So at the end of the first year, the car is worth £8,000. In the second year, it loses 10% of its value, but that's not this. The car's now worth £8,000, so 10% of its value is now £800. So we need to take £800 away from £8,000 the car is worth £7,200 at the end of the second year. Finally, question number eight. Common type of question uh, on the exam worth a lot of marks, worth five marks altogether, a lot of information. Take your time and read through it all carefully. Peter and Sue are going on holiday to France. They're going to travel on the ferry. There's two companies you can choose from, Easy Ferry and Sea Wagon, and you've got the prices all laid out there. Um, we have to make a comparison and decide which ferry company to go for based upon the price. Now, further down the question, you're told they will travel on the 25th of July. The first job is to look very carefully at the tables and identify the right prices. 25th of July is in here and in here. So all the rest of these numbers are irrelevant for this question and we can ignore them. Now again look very carefully at the question and see how many tickets we need. There's Peter and Sue who are the two adults and the question tells us they have three children. Down here Peter and Sue have three children therefore we need two of these and three of these likewise two of these and three of these. So for easy ferry two adult tickets at a cost of £39.50 each, plus three child tickets at a cost of £23.75 each, is £150.25. That needs to be written down somewhere on your page, and you need to identify that that's the total cost for Easy Ferry. And then again for Sea Wagon, two tickets at £40.25 and three tickets at £21.85 is a total cost 
of 146 pounds and five pence. Now we need to apply the discounts and we need to see which is going to be cheaper. Easy Ferry has a third off. The way you find a third is you divide by three. Then you subtract that from the original amount. So the cost of going with Easy Ferry with the third reduction is a hundred pound and rounded to two decimal places because this is money, 17 pence. Sea Wagon has a 25% reduction. 25% is the same as a quarter. So it has that much taken off it, 146 pound and five pence with the reduction is 109 pound again it's money so around it to two decimal places 54 pence now in order to finish off we have to say which ferry company they should travel with in this case they should travel with easy ferry because the tickets are the tickets are cheaper you just need to write a sentence to that effect